Here is our third case of high-grade SIL, or high-grade squamous epith intraepithelial lesion uh, from the cervix. Notice this is a purely a pap smear. And notice already you could start to see that some of these more orange cells are superficial cells, but uh, which constitute the majority of cells uh, overwhelmingly in a premenopausal female but I think you're also seeing very quickly that a lot of them have nuclei, which are uh, darker, lumpier, more irregular than their neighbors. And th because we found them easily, we could call this high-grade SIL. And I bet you if we go to other areas, we'll see um, many other examples as well. Um, you want to find one out here maybe? Well, these are... Don't look terribly bad, but I bet you if we look around, we'll see something a lot nastier than this. Otherwise, it wouldn't be called high grade. And I'm just going to go zipping in here quickly to a few places. Here are some uh, suspicious cells. There's a large, irregular, uh, darker than usual nucleus. Um, here's some as well. This is another case of high grade SIL formerly called uh, CIN, uh, Roman numeral three, also formerly called uh, severe atypia, also formerly called severe or high-grade dysplasia, uh, also of which is called precancer. Or technically, even if there was an infiltrating cancer within the cervix, some of the cells could certainly exfoliate to look like this. Thank you very much.